Welcome to What is Truth? Brought to you by the Southern New Mexico Church of God in Las Cruces, New Mexico. What is Truth? is a weekly program which seeks to focus our attention on the truth of God's Word. Now, with this week's lesson, here's Pastor Meyer Stahl. Welcome to the program. I'm Meyer Stahl, the pastor of the Southern New Mexico Church of God, bringing you the program, What is Truth? And our subject today is, Are You Deceived About the Secret Rapture? Now, it used to be called the secret rapture. Today, it's called the rapture. And why was it called the secret rapture? Well, when we get into the program, we will explain. But before we get into the program, we have two very important booklets we want to share with you today. They're free just for watching, just for listening to the program today. The first booklet is, What Do You Mean, Born Again? And at the bottom of the booklet, it says, Don't be too sure you know. Many religious people talk about being born again, yet they don't really know what Christ meant by those words. The truth is surprising. Here, startling, here made so plain you will understand. The second booklet is, Why Were You Born? Do you really know why you were born? God has a purpose being worked out for you. Most fail to understand that purpose. Read this booklet. You will be surprised. Now, I want to explain something. We are not listener-supported. I'm going to repeat that. We are not listener-supported. You will never get a letter or a phone call asking for money. We never ask the public for money. This program is supported by the tithes and the offerings of the Southern New Mexico Church of God. We, you will never get literature that's unasked for. You need to ask for the literature, you receive the, li the literature you ask for, and nothing more. So all you need to do is call us at area code 575-650-7359. We'll send it right out to you. And uh, we're going to get started now. And I'd like you to turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, and we'll look at verse 3. And here it says, And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See you not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of your coming and the end of the world? This word world is aeon, which is the word, word for age. What would be the end of the age? Watch what Jesus says to them. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Watch out for deception. And there's a lot of deception today. And Jesus goes on and he says, For many shall come in my name and shall deceive many. So many people are going to be deceived. Are you deceived? You may think you're not, but you might be. And let's go now to verse 11. 
and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. So many people are going to be deceived. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Many are leaving churches today. But he who shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness, not to convert everybody, but for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now we're going to drop down to verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, I want you to notice that, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. We're going to stop here. What do you mean by the elect's sake? Well, the elect are going to be here on the earth and except God intervenes, except Jesus Christ comes and intervenes, this world is going to be gone. It's going to be a cinder in space. So Jesus Christ tells us right here that except those days should be shortened, there won't be one person alive. And it's for the elect's sake. Now, the secret rapture, the whole idea was that Christ comes secretly and he steals away the saints and he takes them up to heaven for the three and a half years tribulation. Now, some people believe in a seven-year tribulation, but the Bible is clear. The Bible says the tribulation is going to be three and one half years. Now, I'm going to explain you that a little later on. You'll see that is true. But we're going to turn to the next scripture, and that is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. And, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceives the whole world. Did you notice that? Satan has deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. We're going to stop there. Okay. The devil has deceived the whole world. How has he done it? Well, one-third of the world is communist. They're atheistic, they're agnostic, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in Jesus Christ, so one-third is deceived. Would you agree? A second third is the Muslim nations of the world that believe in Allah. They don't believe in Jesus Christ, and they are deceived. If you bring a Bible to a Muslim nation, you might just get your head cut off. They are deceived. Now, what is left? One-third is Christianity, which is composed of thousands of different religions, mm -hmm. teaching hundreds of different doctrines. Somebody has to be deceived there. So you just might be deceived. So why don't you have an open mind and look at this secret rapture, or today it's just called the rapture, and uh, look at it through the lens of the Bible. See what the Bible says about it. Now the next scripture we're going to is 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 9. 
And uh, it says, verse 9, For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. The ones who believe in the rapture use this scripture. For God has not appointed us to wrath. Okay, we'll stop there. There are two kinds of wrath. There's the wrath of Satan, which is the great tribulation. I'll show you that later on. And the second is the day of the Lord, which is the wrath of the Lamb, which is the wrath of Jesus Christ upon this earth. Now, God has not appointed us to wrath, and we're not appointed to the wrath of God, but we are going to go through the tribulation just like Christians before us went through their tribulations. We are also going through ours. And we'll look, read the next scripture is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 in verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant brethren. He doesn't want us to be ignorant. He, want us to, he wants to bring us the truth concerning them which are asleep. They're dead. That you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Now, if I stop right there, you're going to say, well, Meyer, look here. Jesus is going to bring those with him. Well, yeah, let's read the rest. Let's read it in context. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord, not the word of Paul. That we who are alive and remain, we're going to be right here on this earth, remaining on the earth, until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent, it's an old English word meaning precede them which are asleep. So those who are dead are going to rise first. And that's what the Bible says. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. That wipes out the secret rapture. There's a shout here. And the voice of the archangel, no more secret. So we got the shout, we got the voice of the archangel, and we also have the trumpet of God. We have a lot of noise here. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. So the dead in Christ are going to rise. What about the Christians? Then we who are alive and remain, remain where? We're remaining on this earth, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Anything here about heaven? Not yet. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So we're, we're, we meet him in the clouds, we meet him in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're comforting each other with these words. Now the companion scripture to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And 1 Corinthians chapter 15 will start in verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. What does that mean? Well, we're going to take a short break. We're going to solve the mystery 
of Paul's mystery. He solves it for us. And please don't go away. We'll be right back to resolve this mystery. I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in Southern New Mexico for 34 years helping people hear better. Do you suffer from rashes, dryness, flakiness, and thickness to the skin? 3A Research is conducting a trial of an investigational drug on plaque psoriasis. Subjects must be 18 years of age or older. This is an eight-week study. We will compensate you for your time and travel up to $225. Enrolling participants now in Las Cruces. Contact our office at 575-288-1646 or visit our Facebook page at 3A Research or our website 3asites.com. Taking a trip in the next 12 months? Airlines are under tremendous pressure and they're practically giving away their unsold seats. Like every crisis, this one will end too. But right now is the best time to take advantage of giveaway ticket prices on their unsold seats. We're not allowed to publish these low fares online. The only way to get these rock bottom giveaway prices is to call. So phone low cost airlines now for airline ticket prices you may never see again. Welcome back to the program. In case you tuned in late, we also have our programs running on YouTube. You can watch over 500 different programs. All you need to do is go to YouTube and type in What is Truth with Meyer Stahl? So you can watch this program all over again and you could recommend it to your friends who believe in the rapture and help them to understand that this is not true. This was an invention of the Left Behind series, which are fiction. They're both works of fiction. And the whole idea was presented with the idea of Christ coming in a secret rapture, rapturing away Christians before the Great Tribulation. And it's not biblical. Well, you can't find it in the Bible. Now let's go on, let's go back to the Bible. And the question today is, are you deceived about the secret rapture? And we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and I'll read back over 51, verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We're not all going to die, but we shall all be changed. Changed from what? Well, let's read it. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, that's the blinking of an eye, at the last trump, this is the seventh trumpet blast, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. So the dead are coming up out of the graves and they're incorruptible, they're, they're immortal. And we shall be changed. Changed from what? Let's read it. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave where is your victory? We'll end there. 
So the important thing to understand here is the changing. Changing from what? Changing from physical, from flesh and blood to spirit. Spirit lives forever. Flesh and blood, we have a short time of life at being flesh and blood. So let's go back to the Bible and let's look at the next scripture in Revelation chapter 11, verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Jesus Christ is going to reign forever and ever. And we are going to reign with him as kings and priests. So the important thing to understand is we're going to be immortal. We're going to be human. We're not going to be human beings anymore. We're going to be spirit beings. Let's go to Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. We'll stop there for a moment. Okay, why would they be sealed? Why don't God just rapture them up to heaven? Why would they need to stay here and have a seal put on them that they couldn't be hurt by Satan and the uh, Great Tribulation? Okay, so they were specially sealed people, and they have a job to do during the Great Tribulation. And let's look a little further at the great job that they have to do, and we'll look at verse 9. And it says in verse 9, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sits upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And one of, verse 13, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and where do they come from? And I said unto him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are those which came out of the great tribulation. If they came out of the great tribulation, they had to be in the great tribulation. Did they not? And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sits on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more. They were hungry during the great tribulation. There was no food, neither thirst anymore. There wasn't too much clean water to drink. Neither shall the sun 
light on them nor any heat. They may have been homeless during the Great Tribulation. They might have been living out in the uh, sun. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and lead them unto living fountains of waters, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is wonderful good news. Fantastic good news. Can you see? They're not, the, the Bible says nothing about a rapture. Nothing at all about a rapture. In Revelation chapter 12 and verse 6, it says, And the woman, which is the church, fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared of God, and they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score set sixty days. That's twelve hundred and sixty days. That's three and one half years. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was there place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceives the whole world. We're reading at the second time. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay, let's go down a little further. And when the dragon, verse 13, saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman. That's the church, which brought forth the man-child, which brought forth Jesus. They were children of Jesus. And to the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. A time is a year and times is two years and half a time is half a year, six months. That's three and a half months from the face of the serpent. We're going to stop there. Now, there's no place in the Bible that talks about the rapture. And there is no rapture. The saints are going to be here on the earth, as I just read to you from the Bible. Either you believe the Bible or you believe the Left Behind series. You can go to the library and see shells of the Left Behind series, a work of fiction. And that's exactly what the rapture is. It is a work of fiction. So why don't you send away today for the two booklets, Just What Do You Mean, Born Again, and Why Were You Born? They're absolutely free. We have nothing to sell. We never ask the public for money. We'll send them right out to you. Just call area code 575-650. 7359. Until next time, this is Meyer Stahl of the Southern New Mexico Church of God saying goodbye, my friends. You have been listening to What is Truth with Pastor Meyer Stahl of the Southern New Mexico Church of God located in Las Cruces, New Mexico. For copies of today's lesson or for more information, call area code 575-650-7359. That's 575-650-7359. Join us next week at this same time for another edition of What is Truth? Until next week, we wish you God's richest blessings.